We speak after a judge denied his request for bail a second time and the place where he's locked up now getting a lot of attention. The Metropolitan Detention Center, the only federal jail in New York City, is known for violence, poor conditions and a string of celebrity detainees. He used to eat delicious things <laughs> like duck and chicken, right. but now it's downgraded to some potatoes not a very appetizing meal that he had last night. And by the way, if you've, if you've heard of MDC Brooklyn, uh, this detention center, it's probably because R. Kelly has stayed there, Fetty Wap has stayed there, Michael Cohen, Allison Mack, and, uh, and Ghislaine Maxwell. A lot of famous people have gone here before. Really, really rough, we're told. Recent revelations about Sean Diddy Combs' imprisonment paint a grim picture of his life behind bars. Held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, Diddy may face a potential life sentence for some serious crime. Diddy Combs has been denied bail in connection with the sexual abuse and sex trafficking charges he faces. And as Les Trump reports, the music mogul who once traveled by private jet to all those mansions is now in a jail that is notorious for its bad living conditions. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs spent his first night behind bars inside a facility that is being called Hell on Earth. The Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn is notorious for its appalling living conditions and rampant violence. How bad is it inside this federal lockup? There have been two murders, four suicides, and numerous stabbings and lockdowns in recent years. It's so out of control inside that four federal judges are reportedly refusing to send any more prisoners here. Donald Trump's former fixer, Michael Cohen, spent a harrowing year in federal custody. He says for someone used to a life of luxury like Diddy, prison life is a severe shock. You have a desk, you have a plastic chair, you have your bed with a one and a half inch mattress, no pillow, and you also have a locker. So you basically have three feet by five feet to move around. So you have a basic 15 square feet. It is a horrible. His stay in this notoriously harsh prison has reportedly been marked by violent conditions and dire living circumstances with multiple failed attempts at securing bail. If convicted, Diddy could spend the rest of his life in prison, marking a dramatic fall for the music mogul. And Combs still behind bars as we speak after a judge denied his request for bail a second time. And the place where he's locked up now getting a lot of attention the Metropolitan Detention Center, the only federal jail in New York City, is known for violence, poor conditions, and a string of celebrity detainees. And Diddy's attorneys won him out. Diddy's defense team offered a substantial $50 million bail package in an attempt to secure his release from custody while awaiting trial. This proposal included home detention at his Miami mansion, GPS monitoring, weekly substance tests, and strict limitations on visitors, allowing only family members and property caretakers. Sean Diddy Combs back in court to request bail complaints of horrific New York City jail conditions. My opinion! This dude, is he for real requesting bail? This is the same dude who conveniently skipped town when the authorities were raiding his houses, talking about, oh, I didn't know y'all were looking for me, fellas. Well, now you know, so could you come back in town? Because we got some questions for you. Uh -uh, uh -uh. But I tell you what, after my vacation, I'll be right in to answer all your questions. Like, does he think the judge is stupid? If he gets bailed, that guy is gone forever. Off to some country with no extradition treaty, living a lube room having lifestyle, because he's got the money and apparently a lot of lube for some reason. No, 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 buddy. You stay right there. You're right where you belong. But it's so uncomfortable. Like there's no oceanfront view. No state-of-the-art gym. They got me sleeping on a, a, a twin mattress. It's not even a memory foam mattress. It's so uncomfortable. Yo, it's jail. It's not supposed to be com comfortable. Like why do these rich people think, oh, I'm going to be living a life in jail? No, 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 my friend. Suck it up. Actually, you know what? Don't suck up anything in jail. Don't. Don't do that. And that's not your thing. Like, don't let me impose my thinking on you. You live your lifestyle. You live your truth. Now, what if after years of being in jail, Diddy comes out of prison, he's more open. And like, maybe his friends are like, how was it, Diddy? And he's like, oh, it was great. Really? Oh, yeah, bro. I got my pushed in, bro. Let me see who catches that movie reference.
Prosecutors highlighted the severity of the charges and Diddy's substantial resources, which could facilitate his escape. As a result, Diddy will remain in custody at the Metropolitan Detention Center until his case is resolved. Sean P. Diddy Combs in court. He has pled not guilty. Um, and the prosecutor is arguing that he should be held in jail. He should not be released on bail because He's reached out to witnesses and victims, and some witnesses say they are scared of him. This is according to the prosecutor. They're saying that he's reached out to some victims. Um, the US Assistant US Attorney Emily Johnson is the one making this argument to the judge. She says that he's reached out to some victims. Um, after Dawn Richard, a former member of a music group Combs started, filed her lawsuit on September 10th, Combs reached out to another member of the band who publicly denied the allegations three days later. Johnson said Combs called and texted that other women 58 times in four days. Stuff like that. Just reading forth the report from CNN.com. And Kevin Frazier, you heard him allude to it just a few minutes ago that what else is going to come out of all of this? So Sean Diddy Combs was just arraigned on his indictment of sex trafficking and racketeering charges, and he was denied bail. I'm shocked for one. Uh, I'm Eliza Orleans, career public defender in Manhattan for the last 15 years. and. I just heard this news that in fact, the judge denied him bail and he will remain in custody. He will remain in jail through the pendency of this case. Now, granted, these are extremely serious charges and he is facing up to a life sentence if convicted on the racketeering charges. But I thought that his attorney's pitch, which was for a $50 million bond and putting him in home detention in his Miami residence would be accepted by the judge. But that is not what happened and the judge said that he will be detained. Defense lawyers apparently will be appealing this ruling to the district court and he did in fact enter a plea of not guilty today. There is no trial date set yet, but the hearing date is next set for September 24th. It's certainly not unusual for people to be detained pre-trial. However, the defense put together a proposal which basically offered home detention with GPS monitoring and a $50 million bond and handing over his passport, restricting his travel. So I'm just a little bit surprised that no bail got set in this matter and he's just being detained pre-trial. If folks are interested, I would be happy to go into more detail about the pitch by the defense counsel as to what they were offering up instead of pretrial detention, but I am floored and it looks like this case is going to proceed while Sean Combs is in custody. Leave other questions in the comments and follow along for more. We're outside the MDC Brooklyn. This is the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn and the side entrance where you can see there is a significant gate uh, held by the U.S. Department of Justice Federal Bureau of Prisons. As we look up at this building, we're not sure which window is Diddy's, but this is where he is being held. And a federal judge has said this is where he's going to stay until he goes to trial. When that will be, we just don't know. His next court appearance will be September 24th. But in the meantime, behind the scenes, we know that he most likely gets a 6 a.m. wake up call. That's from a former warden who talked to TMZ, who said that he will most likely have to mop his own floors and make his bed. Uh, some of his movements will be restricted because he's in a special housing unit. He's not with the general population right now for obvious reasons for his own security. Uh, this is a detention center that is notorious for violence. In fact, there was an inmate that was killed just this summer. The Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn, where Diddy is being held, is notorious for its poor living conditions. After he was charged with that sex trafficking case, he is was let out of the courtroom by the U.S. Marshals, and he will be held in federal detention as this case moves forward. Now, this followed a lengthy hearing with both prosecutors and Diddy's attorneys, arguing reasons why he should be kept behind bars and why he should be released. Diddy's lawyer saying that he has taken voluntary steps, including turning over his his passport to his lawyers, uh, saying he would report any of his movements to prosecutors. But the judge finding that that was just not enough. She said, my concern is that this is a crime that happened behind closed doors, even when pretrial services is monitoring. Inmates face issues like overcrowding, limited access to medical care and extreme temperatures with reports of inadequate heating during winter months. So she said there was nothing that his lawyers had offered.
Crawford that made her feel comfortable that he would return to this courthouse for subsequent court hearings and for a trial. She said that it was both his substance abuse and the fact that some of this physical abuse that's been alleged occurred when he was using drugs and alcohol, that that was the reason why she couldn't trust that he would not commit any additional crimes while he was left on bail. So Sean Diddy Combs is not going to be walking out this door. He is in federal custody where he will be unless his lawyers are able to convince a different judge. Additionally, the facility has been plagued by bullying, poor sanitation and infrequent visitation rights, contributing to the harsh environment. Sean Diddy Combs is locked up in a federal jail that has been plagued by harsh conditions and violence. The Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn has seen multiple deaths in recent years. An inmate was stabbed to death in July, and several others have died by suicide. It's these reasons, among others, that Combs' lawyers are fighting to get him out of there. They want him released on bail, rather than being kept in jail while he awaits trial on sex trafficking charges. Combs is just the latest high-profile defendant to be locked up at MDC Brooklyn. Before him, there were R. Kelly, Elaine Maxwell, and crypto scammer Sam Bankman-Fried. Maxwell complained about her treatment at the facility, which included round-the-clock checks in the wake of her associate Jeffrey Epstein's jail suicide. A few years ago, a week-long power outage in the dead of winter left detainees in drab, cold conditions. Judges have also raised alarms. They've pressed the Bureau of Prisons for status updates and implored the agency to fix things. One judge even refused to send some defendants to the jail. For now, Combs is one of about 1,200 people locked up at MDC Brooklyn. He's the highest profile detainee at a place that's been described as hell on earth. According to former MDC Brooklyn warden Cameron Lindsay, Diddy's celebrity status, combined with the nature of the charges against him, could make him a target for bullying from other inmates who may see harming or killing him as a badge of honor. You say his fame makes him a target. Yes, in my humble estimation, his life, his safety is in jeopardy in any correctional lockup right now. Um, he, it, if it is true, as reported, that he is housed in the special housing unit, it's important to note that the special housing unit is a, is a lockdown, 24-hour lockdown unit. Um, the MDC Brooklyn is a high rise. The vast majority of the floors are general population floors. But the special housing unit is a 24-hour lockdown facility. So this is for Mr. Combs' protection. Um, his incredible worldwide celebrity combined with the allegations, the charges now, yeah. and indictment, of course, of acts of violence against women make him a very attractive target. All so right. obviously they need to safeguard him. This federal detention center has housed other high-profile inmates like Ghislaine Maxwell and R. Kelly, both of whom described their experiences as mentally debilitating. Before him, there were R. Kelly, Elaine Maxwell, and crypto scammer Sam Bankman-Fried. Maxwell complained about her treatment at the facility, which included round-the-clock checks in the wake of her associate Jeffrey Epstein's jail suicide. A few years ago, a week-long power outage in the dead of winter left detainees in drab, cold conditions. The contrast between Diddy's former life of luxury and his current conditions in the Metropolitan Detention Center is huge. Orchestrated all of these freak-offs, purchased multiple hotel rooms for these freak-offs to take place, had his staff stock the rooms with different items drugs, lube, extra sheets, things of that nature for the freak off. Didn't allow individuals to not participate in the freak off. And one of the ways that he did that was by, was by using drugs in order to get them to a state of mind so that they would participate. Or he would use the tapes as extortion to force them into these freak offs. Diddy was known for his opulent lifestyle, living in multi-million dollar mansions and hosting extravagant parties attended by celebrities and influential figures. His homes were equipped with every imaginable luxury from state-of-the-art entertainment systems to lavish swimming pools and private gyms. And he did all of this for his own perverted, twisted benefit. I don't know if he was participating in these I don't know if he was getting off to these videos that he was making. Who knows? This is crazy. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. 
it's crazy. It's terrible. The amount of people whose lives have been forever affected by this. I just want to know some more information and I want to know who else is involved in this because I have a feeling that this is going to be massive for the next two, three, four years and beyond. On the On The Stoop podcast, a former correctional officer provided an insider's view on life in federal facilities like MDC Brooklyn, where Diddy is currently incarcerated. The bus with all the other inmates going to court, you no, know, they would have him on a separate um, transportation detail. They would have special escorts to take him back and forth to court, but he would still have to go through the searches and stuff like that. Jail is very um demeaning if you're an inmate right because when you come into the facility like say sean puffy came in last night because they picked up they arrested him he has to go through a search they have to bring him into the receiver room they have to make him take all his clothes off they have to search his clothes search him make him run his fingers through his hair open your mouth turn around squat cough all of that he described the harsh realities of these environments highlighting overcrowding poor food quality and the constant threats that's you know it's it's it's, it's traumatic <laughs> you know there's no other way to to say it and um you know, they send you to the housing area and then you're in a room that you've never been in before and it's just one bed there for you and the bed is a twin size bed. He's probably used to sleeping in king size beds with all the comforters and pillows and a television set. And You know, he doesn't have that now. He's in a cell and his cell is no better than any other cell that's in there. So if the cells are run down, his cell is run down too. They're not gonna put him in a special suite or anything like that. He's gonna get what everybody else gets. Inmates often struggle with the psychological toll of confinement, compounded by the lack of adequate medical care and the ever-present danger of being preyed upon by other inmates. So today, this morning, you know, he had breakfast, they woke him up. Usually when an inmate has to go to court, we wake them up around four in the morning, 4.30, because um, they have to be, they have to be sent to the receiving room. They have to eat first and then they have to be sent to the receiving room. They have to be searched and then they have to be cuffed and taken, you know, to transportation. The cuffs are usually, um, cuffed at the arm with a waist chain on. So being that he's going to be traveling by himself, he's going to be cuffed and they're going to have a waist chain on him. This grim depiction aligns with reports of brutal conditions at MDC, where high profile inmates like R. Kelly and Ghislaine Maxwell also faced similar hardships, including limited recreation time, isolation and substandard living conditions. The chain is going to be around his um, waist. Sometimes it's a belt, sometimes it's a chain and he's going to have leg irons. So he's not going to be able to run or anything like that. And then they're going to take him to the court and then they're going to turn him over to the courts there. And then they're going to take everything off and they're going to search him again. <laughs> Most of the time they will search you again and then they put you in the cell and wait for the um, judge to call you up to the courtroom when they're ready for him. So he had to go through that. He had to sit in court all day. And now that he is not getting bail. He has to go ev everything. If Diddy is convicted on all charges, he could face a minimum of 15 years in prison with the possibility of a life sentence. There's really no deal that the U.S. Attorney's Office can offer, and it's certainly not one that Diddy will accept. It would involve decades in federal prison. We're talking about mandatory minimum sentences of 10 years for both the drug charges and the sex trafficking. So we know that Diddy has fought charges before. There were state charges, there were gun-related uh, the nightclub shooting with JLo, but he's going to dig in his heels and this case is going to trial. So if you're prosecutors, you really want to make sure that your evidence is bulletproof before you go down that route. It's true that facing a long prison sentence can have a significant psychological impact on individuals. In Diddy's case, the stress and isolation of his current situation, combined with the drastic change from his previous lifestyle, could contribute to mental health challenges. And I don't want to bring this guy's story up because it's old and I know he's trying to live past it, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. And when they come out with this other stuff, he going to come back to work. 
I won't. I wouldn't be surprised if he do the ultimate sin, his suicide. If he because bruh, he's so he's such a narcissistic that he couldn't stand not being somewhere and not being seen. His whole life, his whole career was about him being seen in the public. It was about him, you know, taking everybody else's dreams and making them his. And now him nor his kids would profit from anything. What are your thoughts on this situation? Comment down below. Stay tuned until next time.